So another choice you have is to use Powtoon slides. If you go to your app, mine's up here, yours are the little white squares, and look for Powtoons. If you don't have it, you would go to your web store and add it. Open up Powtoons, and when you first open it up, there's a button for you to start. And like many things that ask you to log in sometimes, I've already logged in so it doesn't. If you get something that says what's your name, you never add your name. You always log in using your Google account. Um, there's two kinds of Powtoons. There's slides and there's studio. We're going to start with slides. For this project, everyone's going to use a slide. And right here, you'll see some templates. These are templates that you could choose from. A template means that the Powtoons have put some things in here, and then you would change it to match your presentation. So you want to choose something that's going to engage your audience but not distract them, and you want it to match what you're presenting. So you can look at these, and as you mouse over them, it shows you some of the different slides in there. And if you find one that you think would be appropriate for your presentation, you would go ahead and choose that one. Um, the one I chose for my automobile, I use the classic. I'm just going to go ahead and choose Blackboard for this one. And when you say go, it's loading the templates. They like to say they're loading their awesomeness. So as it comes up, it's going to have several things for you to pick from, just like Google Slides. It has different templates. So here is your slide you're going to choose. So this is probably going to be a title slide. So you would choose one of these for your title. I'm just going to go ahead with this one. And then there's things in here just like in Google Slides, and you click on it to edit it to match your information. And then for each one, you keep going, and every time you click on one, it asks you what kind of slide you want. And depending on what you're going to use, you choose these different selections. And then once it's there, you would add your images to it. So for this one, to add an image, you go ahead and click on it. And it's looking for the images you downloaded from um, ImageQuest. And they show up right here. And you can choose the one you're going to use for your project. Once it's in there, this is a crop tool. They're universal, so it kind of shows you. So right now, see how it's kind of cutting their heads off? I might move it down just a teeny bit. But I still want mostly the car in that one. And so you can see it, and then you can put your information there. You need to save it. And once you save it, the next time you come into Powtoons, it's going to be in your dashboard. So I'm going to leave this just to show you what I'm talking about. This is your dashboard. And when you go back to your dashboard, it shows you your projects. And do you see how you have two components? So what I just made was a slide. So I'm going to go to my slide side. And there's my automobile slide. And I'm not going to publish it till I'm finished. I'm going to keep editing it. So this would be when I come back the next day to keep editing. That's how you use Powtoons.